Hello. Hello. My name is Frederick Nita. And my name is Jonathan Rogers. Here is our proposed exhibit for the Johnsonian Institution for the Study of the American Nation. Our exhibit will cover the political corruption during Harding's presidency. The public should be impor informed of this because it is necessary to understand the flaws of the old political scene. It will connect to each and every person because their perspective of how beneficial the government is to them will likely change, as it did with the public a century ago. The background sound for the first half of the exhibit will be Harding's return to normalcy speech, since it's questionable what he means by normalcy, and it emphasizes the irony in the fact that the normal Harding talks about refers to the numerous major scandals that took place during his administration. The second half will have no background sounds due to the documentaries that, have, that already have audio. This is our floor plan. We have 10 exhibits which the guests should visit chronologically. The first three exhibits will set up the scene of political corruption during Harding's presidency. These three exhibits are on Warren G. Harding, Albert B. Fall, and Charles R. Forbes. At the exhibit for Warren G. Harding, there is a figure of the president sitting at his desk along with significant information about him and his administration. While walking through the hall, there will be interactive Did You Know doors that the visitor can lift to learn several trivial facts about Warren G. Harding. Next, at Albert B. Fall's exhibit, there will be a large portrait of him and essential details. Understanding him and his motives are important to understand his role in the Teapot Dome scandal. There will also be Did You Know doors for Albert B. Fall. Continuing along this hall, there is Charles R. Forbes' exhibit featuring a real life size sculpture of him. In the second hall, the first exhibit that the visitor will find is one that is about Edward Doheny and Harry Sinclair. They were key people in the Teapot Dome scandal, and information about the, these two men will be provided at this exhibit. After visiting Edward Doheny and Harry Sinclair's exhibit, the visitor should continue along and learn more about the Teapot Dome scandal. There is a lot of information about the Teapot Dome scandal. As such, it will be distributed into three sections. Background, Scandal, and Resolution and Public Reaction. For the exhibit on the background of the Teapot Dome scandal, there's a picture of the Teapot Dome. There's also a map of where Teapot Dome is as well as locations of large oil fields nearby. This is to help set up the scene of the Teapot Dome scandal for the visitors. At this exhibit, there will also be context on why the Teapot Dome scandal happened. Afterwards, the visitors will see a documentary about the Teapot Dome scandal, illustrating for the audience how it started and what terrible actions Fall, Doheny, and Sinclair did for their personal benefit. On the side will also show a comic representing how devastating this mis misconduct was to the White House. For the exhibit on the resolution and public reaction of the Teapot Dome scandal, there will be a picture of the Wall Street Journal article that leak the details of the crooked transaction. Also, there will be some personal accounts to show the uproar that the Teapot Dome scandal caused. After the guest has visited all the Teapot Dome scandal exhibits, there will be an exhibit on Harry M. Daugherty, another man involved in political scandals during the 1920s. There will also be Did You Know doors for Harry M. Daugherty. Finally, there will be two exhibits comparing the political corruption during Harding's presidency and other presidencies. The first exhibit will be about Ulysses S. Grant. At this exhibit, there will be a large portrait of Ulysses S. Grant and a huge screen displaying documentary of the many political scandals that happened during his presidency, including the Black Friday Gold Panic and the Whiskey Ring. The second comparison will be to Richard M. Nixon's scandal, which will be a video about the burglary at Watergate misuse of the FBI, CIA, and the IRS, as well as the secret bugging technology used by the government, all of which were eventually linked to Nixon. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you will consider our exhibit idea.